So we are here at the Mauser stand at Embedded World 2022 and as you can see here we have a model smart home and I'm here with Rafiq and with Hassan to talk a little bit about it and to how this thing all came together and the technology that is inside it. So uh, who, who wants to start? Hassan. I'll go first okay. with the motor control. We have a smart curtain that goes up and down every two minutes. It's controlled by an Arduino Nano 33 IoT and uh, the motor, the DC motor, is also uh, connected to the SparkFun um, motor driver. And we have a vert feather wing sensor that measures the vibrations of the, of the DC motor and it can give the status of the motor if it's on, if it's off, and so on. And I'll give it to Rafiq to continue okay. with the rest of the demo. Yeah, and we have two other demos here. We have a Bluetooth mesh network that uh, is uh, by Silicon Labs. Uh, Thunderbird Sense 2. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, one uh, board in each room okay. and uh, one master control. Like if we press the button here, it should turn them off. And if we do the on, it will all go on. And uh, each board is communicating with the next one to, to the board. And uh, we can change the lights in the app also. Like we can do like that. And we can also change the colors mm -hmm. through the app. Uh, the other demo we have is a microchip PIC BLE board that is connected to an air quality sensor from uh, Amphino and uh, on a micro e board. So it has the micro bus, so it's just like plug and play. Mm -hmm. And um, it sends the data over to the iPad with uh, BLE. We get the CO2 measurement and the VOC mm -hmm. as well. Okay, cool. And, and one of the things I'm noticing about all of the things in this setup is that there's there's not a lot of uh, so-called sort of heavy tech setup. Well, you've got this on a breadboard on the side here. All of these are plug and play devices. Yeah. So while this is a model smart house, this is something that could easily be done by hobbyists who want to learn about this kind of tech as well as engineers, right? Definitely, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like we, we tried to, to make it as simple as, so, as possible. That's mm -hmm. why we always go for the plug and play mm -hmm. uh, because we know many people just want to plug it and play it mm -hmm. and then just do a prototype mm -hmm. and then if it want to go to the next level then definitely we also have something here that requires a bit more knowledge in electronics mm -hmm. like wiring DC motor and powering the whole system yeah uh, but yeah and also like another thing uh, the sensor can also be repurposed for other use cases so this is one good thing we just thought it can be done for a smart home but of course you can use it to monitor the vibration of anything and use it for uh, different purposes as well. Yeah. Yeah. well that's, that's the first thing I thought actually when you mentioned it, is that in this case it's, it's determining whether it's on or off. Yeah. But yeah. presumably a vibration sensor in a motor could be used for condition monitoring and exactly. all that kind of stuff. It yeah. also has a temperature and humidity sensor on it. Okay. We're just not using it for yeah. the smart home. But of course if you have a use case for these uh, metrics you can use it in your own product. Fantastic. All right, Rafiq Hassan, thank you so much for speaking to me. Have a great rest of the conference. <laughs>